Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. This is my Dave Yop and for today we will be looking at into this mechanical keyboard. This is from I'm sorry if I will mispronounce your brand. Um, this is Z Ziolang. Uh, Ziolang gaming keyboard. So this is the Ziolang K3 mechanical RGB backlight keyboard. This is one of the cheapest mechanical keyboards that you can buy right now in Shopee for 800 pesos. Yes, that is on sale but most of the time the price of this is 800 pesos. This comes in two different colors. This one and the other one is orange. The keys are orange or tangerine and also the housing is also black. So there, there's only two color options. I will put a link in the video description so that you can automatically click or tap on that link and buy this keyboard. So let's now unbox this and see what's inside. So there are nine backlight effects for this, but later on I will demonstrate this to you. So you have here your USB-C to type A cable. This is for the keycaps remover. So this is your manual. It's important that you read some of the notes here so that it will be much more easier for you to control the keyboard, especially the light effects. Now, here's the keyboard and I really like it. This is, by the way, a red switch, an in-house switch of Zeolung, not an Odemo or a Cherry MX switch or any other switches. This is a 98 key compact sized keyboard. I don't know if you can see that. At the back, you have two height options for this one. This is indeed a tall keyboard or a chunky keyboard, but you can also make it go a bit more higher. That's one, that's half the height, then this is the full height adjustment. So if you don't have the cable with you, you can use any data cable or USB Type-C cable to power this keyboard. It might sound like this is only for gaming because this is a mechanical keyboard, but you can also use this for work, for school, just your average keyboard, but it's mechanical and, it, and the typing experience is much better. So now I will demonstrate to you the experience of the keyboard and also the, some of its effects. To test the keyboard, I will have to put away my Corsair keyboard for the meantime. I will utilize the cable that I have from Corsair because this is just Type-C, it's compatible. There you go. To control the lighting here, we have, as per the box says, they have nine effects. And from what I've tested, the arrow keys here will serve as your brightness and speed controls. For something this static color, this is not a RGB that can move from red, green, blue, but this is a static red, yellow, orange, green, blue, and then violet. But they have some effects that would work as your typical RGB keyboard, but not the RGB IC types of RGB. So we have your FN, and then if, if we go down, there's only three steps for brightness. So this is the third one, two, one, and zero. Then one, it's not that bright. Two, you can see it already. And three, that's the brightest. For changing the effects and animations of the lighting, we have to simply press FN and then insert. You can set the brightness, the speed. We have three sp speed options. So this is the fastest, this is normal, and this is the slowest. That's, this is the third effect. This is the fourth one. This is something like a rain, I guess. This is like a spiral or snake effect. This I think this is spiral. This is, is what I like most. This is waves. I think this is, goes oscillates from left to right. And that's it. That's the nine effects that we have here on this keyboard. If your work is typing intensive, then you're going to love this keyboard, especially that these are linear keys. Always choose for the red switches or black switches as they really give you the vibe and typing and it's really smooth. Also, I want to point out here that the enter, the space bar, of course the space bar always would really sound the loudest. 
some of the keys here like the backspace now this to me they sound like a muted or dampened blue switches those supports are hitting the plastic these cheap keycaps enhances the sound that is coming from the switches or the supporting post making it sound louder but as for the space bar and the enter the long keycaps here with the supports amplifies the sound even further making it sound like a dampened blue switch even if this is a red switch this is not going to give you the thock sound that everyone needs maybe modding will do but for a cheap keyboard like this we cannot complain as this is already a, me a compact mechanical keyboard for the price of 800 pesos The lighting itself, it's fine to me, but it could have been better if there would be an option for Zeolang to add just all white lighting. So that is my review of the Zeolang K3 mechanical keyboard. So if you have any thoughts about, about this video, please feel free to comment down below, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube and also follow me on my social media links. I'll be posting it down below. Oh um, yes, don't forget that I'll be put, putting the Shopee link on my video description so, so you can be redirected to this keyboard instantly and you can purchase this one at a lower price, especially when this is on sale. So thank you so much everyone for tuning in. You all have a great day. Bye!